So I think it is time to go back down. We have enjoyed that amazing, amazing view. And I don't think you can actually beat it. You can go to these towers, you can be in the city and go high up in a skyscraper, but just having this around you is so worth it. But wow, those views, really, really, really good. Highly, highly recommend. Please put this on your list if you visit here. Welcome to the final episode of our Seoul mini series. We've explored different areas, eaten food, and now we are about to hike up a mountain. If you have enjoyed this series, make sure to like this video and let's see our last adventure. Good morning, and we are back, of course, with another Seoul video. It is unfortunately our last, last day. day. Yeah. Sad to be leaving, but it has to be done, unfortunately. <laughs> Definitely. So, to seal the deal, um, to finish off Seoul on a high point, we are going to see what I did there. <laughs> we are going to climb a mountain or attempt to at least. Before visiting South Korea, I'd never really heard that there were even mountains here, let alone that they were near the city. This one today, it was only about 40 minutes on the train. So it's actually still in Seoul, which is great. It means you can live in the city, but also jump into this nature as well. So that's exactly what we are going to do. So after a quick train journey this morning, we are just about to get to the Buk Han San National Park and we can actually see it right in front of us. So just before you get to the entrance of the National Park, they have some shops where you can buy all of the trekking gear that you may need to conquer the mountain. The guy in the visitor center was absolutely amazing. He gave us an English map and basically asked us what kind of route we wanted to do and planned it out for us. Very, very helpful guy. So definitely check out the visitor center before you start walking and he can help you out. So we actually opted for an easier route today because we are both quite tired. We have had a full on 10 days since we arrived in the Singapore before we came to Korea. So we decided to just go for a nice easy walk through the woods and then hopefully get some nice views when we get to the top. If you want to watch the rest of our Korea videos or even our Singapore videos, then make sure to check them out. I'm sure we've got loads that you would like. So we are at ground zero. Let's get going. Here we have all of the wildlife. We would like to see this one and this one and this one. We definitely don't want to see this one or this one on our travels today. <laughs> but we can see the Mustela Siberica. That would be cute. So it's crazy to think that just 10 minutes ago we were walking through the outskirts of Seoul still and now we're completely surrounded by the nature, it's great. There's, we've only been walking in the actual trail for about two minutes and we've stopped like five times. It's very beautiful here, there's so much to see and so much to stop and look at. It's going to take us forever to complete this. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> This is crazy, it's like being back in England again. Getting a bit steeper now.
I think we might have missed the memo because everyone else that we've seen has the uh, walking sticks. I mean, I'm here just in my van, so <laughs> it is a little bit hard, the terrain. Not anything that you can't do in vans though. But yeah, I think a walking sticks would definitely help. Don't have them though in our little backpack. <laughs> here are the stretches that you need to do, you've got here, so Aiden will demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of them? So. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was that one. <laughs> Feeling better? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. We made it to this nice stopping point now and we can actually see the city skyline in the distance. I don't know if the camera is picking that up at all. But we can but see. But we can see it, yes. <laughs> and there's the Lottie World Tower. Right there, you should be able to see it. I think it's the uh, fifth tallest in the world, tower. But we didn't do that one. We decided instead to do the more famous Ensole Tower. And that's in one of our previous videos. So if you would like to see it, check it out. We'll put it here right now. We'll continue onwards. Onwards. Up we go. Reluctantly. No, not reluctantly. <laughs> Enjoyably. Enjoyably, yep. So we're only halfway to the first point in our journey. Upwards we go. Jamie's cold. Cold. <laughs> we were very cold when we started walking from the train station and then obviously we got very warm going up the hill and now it's starting to get windy and a bit chilly again. But we will continue and we are not complaining. Hi. Hi. What's a cat? <laughs> what is that cat doing here? You're very far away from your house, cat. A cherry blossom tree. Seven hundred meters to go. Hello, and young. We're not really going up, it's like that. It's not that steep. That's where we're going up there. No, we're not really. You liar. We have been walking for a fair amount of time now. I think we have about 300 meters to the first kind of point, but I don't know about these Korean meters because it said a kilometer and it feels like it's been a lot more than a kilometer. I've been walking for about an hour and a half now and I am barely sweating a fraction compared to one minute of standing in the shade when in Georgetown in Malaysia. Man, that place was very, very hot. I guess this means we've made it to the first checkpoint with the view of the city. Let's go up these stairs. Oh, we are out of breath. This last bit of this trail here was very, very steep Look compared to the rest of it. Look at me. We're dying right now. <laughs> For real, dying. <sighs> we'll be okay though. We'll carry on and we will complete this without will failing. We? Yes, we will. <laughs> and we have made it. Hopefully you can see in the distance here, the Seoul skyline. Wow, we're very high up right now. Yeah, I, I 
we're not uh, entirely sure if this is us making it or if we're at like one kind of viewpoint before we get to the top but we made it let's say <laughs> for all intensive purposes we made it I'm gonna join you. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Huh? Two ladies taking a picture of us. How kind. <laughs> That was very funny. These two girls asked us if we wanted a picture. They actually asked if they could take a picture of us. So we said yes. And then we had the full on photo shoot experience. <laughs> like 25 pictures being taken. They were telling us how to pose and where to stand and everything. That was very funny. So here they are over there. Thank you very much. <laughs> we have officially made it. Beautiful view of the entire city. It is a bit cold and windy up here at the top, so I think it is time to go back down. We have enjoyed that amazing, amazing view, and I don't think you can actually beat it. You can go to these towers, you can be in the city and go high up in a skyscraper, but just having this around you is so worth it. That was definitely a difficult hike. Definitely not super advanced, doable, but you definitely have to be in good health to do that which recently <laughs> we're not <laughs> um but wow those views really 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 good highly highly recommend please put this on your list if you visit here now the real challenge begins trying to get back down we don't want to go back the way we came we want to continue on the whole route that the guy gave us but we don't actually know because since we've been up here there haven't been any signs so we're just <laughs> going to keep walking let's wing it it's what we usually do it usually works out okay <laughs> wish us luck so I guess we lied because I thought we were going down now, but let me show you where we were just about to go. Look at that. <laughs> I thought we were done with the up. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> wow, at the top. There's our route. Down we go. Are you ready? Yeah. This descent is a little bit easier. But it looks like it only stops right there. So when we got to the first gate at the first checkpoint, there weren't many signposts that we could make sense of. So we had to stop a few times and ask some of the locals that were also hiking if we were going the same way. And we, we were. So yes, if you get handed a map at the visiting center, just make sure to follow it and you'll eventually get to the second gate and then you can start the descent down if you choose the same route that we did. So we're nearly down at the bottom now and you can hear behind us the temple playing music. Very nice, very peaceful, very cool. And we have made it back to the bridge we crossed at the start of the video. We're very close to the visitor center now, only about 500 meters to go. So now that we're nearly done, 
Um, I think it's taken us roughly four hours, which is not good seeing as uh, the guy at the visitor centre that gave us our route told us about two and a half hours, give or take, it's very easy walk. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> or we are terribly unfit, which I think a bit of both. <laughs> there were some people overtaking us, some people probably about three times our age overtaking us. But um, yeah, let's just say that we weren't prepared. We're not in the right gear. <laughs> we don't have the right gear with us but that's okay we are pretty much finished and have you enjoyed it anyway yes i've loved it absolutely yeah. loved it of course i would say for sure this is seoul's hidden gem we have yes. saw no other tourists here not one i think the whole time probably less than 50 people walking for many many like meters it has been quiet no one around and it has been yeah. beautiful yeah the only people who walked past us were locals yeah uh, yeah really lovely. really good so i would say that this is definitely south korea's secret gem um, and we hope that you enjoyed doing it with us so of course we have really enjoyed ourselves doing this hike, but we hope that you have enjoyed watching the video of us doing it. <laughs> Hopefully we weren't too moany going uphill. <laughs> I think I was, I was a bit tired at the start, but we hope that you liked it anyway and that you can comment and subscribe and like the video to help support us. So that will be our last Seoul video. We have had a very, very good time here. It has been a great way to see this city, to find out more about this country. I would love to come back, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, absolutely would love I to think come there's back. So much more that we haven't kind of seen yet we would love your recommendations for if we have a chance in the future to come back here absolutely we hope that you enjoyed our complete travel series of south korea and we will see you in the next video Goodbye. bye